According to the National Work Zone Safety Information Clearinghouse, in 2015, 130 fatalities occurred during road construction in a temporary traffic control zone. They were caused by unsafe work site conditions, including uneven lanes, inadequate signage, narrow lanes, inadequate barriers, confusing signage, and poorly lit construction areas. Your purpose as a flagger is to protect yourself, the work crew, motorists, and pedestrians from hazardous traffic situations and construction accidents, as well as create a positive image for the company you are working for. While some might call it a simple job, your responsibilities involve much more than just holding signs. As a flagger, you are responsible for controlling traffic. The work crew and the public depend on you to provide direction and regulate traffic safely. In this lesson, you will learn the standards and guidelines established by the Federal Highway Administration's Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Many states have requirements for flaggers in addition to those discussed in this lesson. Be sure to check your state-specific requirements for flaggers. These include general guidelines for flagging, appropriate clothing requirements, and the standards for the signs, barriers, and lights used in your work. You will also learn where to position yourself for optimum safety, how to judge traffic speed and congestion, and regulate traffic accordingly. In addition, you will learn how to communicate with the public and other flaggers, as well as how tapers and roadway channelization are set up.